I'm sitting here on a rock wondering about the, the blessings of all the blessings. So I'm going to stop talking scat. I'm going to say thanks for watching. It was a bit of a strange one this, yes. Can we call it a metal detecting? A bit of uh, meandering around in our village. Um, I'll include one or two bits and pieces of the meandering, as I said, and also I will thank you very much for watching. Greetings, I hello, and all those nice things. And it's way past the beginning of this month. And I've shown you no metal detecting videos yet. And that's not about to change if things carry on the way they are going at the moment. I have yet to find myself a Euro coin for the Euro coin map uh, series. And if you're wondering, I've been out a few times and I have yet to find anything of interest and if you're wondering even more look at that that's seaweed in my boot water in my boot I've just got here uh, I am wet down to way above my ankles or I'm wet up to way above my ankles and as I say I've just got here uh, I wanted to come and see the gully to see if it was worthwhile looking for anything on this side and all I can see that there's been loads and loads and loads of sand deposited so the chances of finding anything here is probably about null I was on that beach yesterday the ring beach uh, hanging rock beach and I left there with only scat bottle caps and ten pegs and then I went to the south beach and I left there with two sinkers and scat and water caps. So it's been a story of my month so far. But anyway, I'm going to now show you bits and pieces of um, taken earlier on today along uh, Arklo's Avoca River. Uh, a bit of a diversion, but I'll add that here now. And uh, then I promise I will not waffle much and I will only show you targets of note so I'm going to go back around there shortly the tide fortunately is going out hopefully I can change into my dry pairs of, pair of socks in the not too distant future uh, but for now I'm going to have to stay a tad damp because I don't feel like getting uh, the second pair of socks all wet as well but look at that for a cloud formation show. Pretty, ain't it? Pretty. This is the height of summer and uh, feeling a tad wintry, I promise. Okay, I'll stop waffling and I'll show you. Now I'll show you where we were wandering around earlier on today along the Avoca River in Arklo Town. And then I will only cut in again to say, look, look, I found something great. Look at Sally there. She's waded herself through the nettles and the thistles and the brambles and the, to get a photo. The, that woman startled the pheasant. Can you see the pheasant over there? Can you see? I wonder if that pheasant wasn't on the nest there. But there we go. There's a, a hen pheasant. And I'm going to go see if there was a nest. Because it looks far, far too, too, uh, it came out just somewhere. Do you see eggs yet anywhere? So I think they're puppies. Yeah, they're proper puppies. So will they turn into... No, yeah, they cut the casings. And then they make opioids. Yeah. So now you know where you can come and get your stash. It's got a nest somewhere because it was there and it just flew out to there. Oh. I think it's got a nest yes. up there somewhere. 
out of there where you startled it. Now it's into butterfly stalking mode. Gone. Butterfly stalking mode. Look, here's the, the another uh, intruder plant. Buglia, buglia, call it what you want to, butterfly bush. They're massive. If you're wondering what we're doing here, that's some of the ruins of Arklow Castle. That's what we came in here to have a look see because they cleared all of this area and then her good self spotted the poppies and we spotted the pheasant and the butterflies and all sorts. If you're wondering where I am, I am walking along, or the, us, the both of us are walking along here uh, along the Avoca River. Uh, our car is busy getting tires on, so we've just been wandering about. So there you go, swallows over the river. This is Arklow's main water source, and uh, it's a few other things too. Uh, there comes the singing one again, and there's looking out to the east. <laughs> you wonder if I am touched now. You wonder why. Living with one like that will make you touched, won't it? Yeah, well. And that's where we were in over there, where you see all them purple things, but butterfly bushes. So there's the pretty side of Arklow, the Avoca River. And this is the same river. I'll put a link in here to uh, the wooden bridge a little while ago where she was biting at my leg. I think if I carry on going this way, then you'll see her wandering along. Look, there she's wandering along, singing a song. But that's better than not wandering along and not singing a song, wouldn't you say? There she is. She, I just be wary that she bites my leg again. Ray bird. Right. From that point over there, along the river, we, we came down there, then we went in there, and that's where we met the pheasant, and then I showed you the river. Uh, it says river walk there. Look, look, river walk. Okay, we're not going that way today. And now we're going up this hill. And I'm going to tell you something about this hill as we go along. If you have rugby knees, the best advice for this hill is to not even come down it because it just graunches your knees. But look, it's pretty along here. So we have to see the prettiness, don't we? And we just got the half past one church bell too. And when we get to the top, you'll see the church. Right, the phone stopped operating just as well. Otherwise, you would have heard me panting all the way up the hill. We're almost there. And when we swing about, we'll show you the... Go down there. That nice view. Yeah, boss. We follow the boss's instructions. We go down here for the nice view. And then the farmer might shoot us. So what? I see much pollution. <laughs> it 
is. We have disturbed the kids. Right. And there you see the church, Church of Ireland, Saint Saviors, off the top of my head. Uh, it's quite an impressive structure, I would you say. It's a pretty place. And we have not ever set foot on the premises. Maybe we should at some point in time, wouldn't you say? Right. Disaster. Disaster. That's what it's all about. Disaster. We're not having a great metal detecting day. And we've just found a flipped over Airbus A380. And you know what? I'm very miffed for this whole COVID thing because we had uh, been scheduled to go to the States in October 2020 and I purposely booked on Air France so that we could fly on the A380 before they get withdrawn from service. Uh, will I ever have that opportunity again? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe that was for the best. But here we go. I have my own 380. A380 now. I do. Those two lads have just gone straight over the top of two seals. Uh, I hope they don't chop them off. The seals are in the water there. You can see another head pop up, but they've just gone straight. Look, there's another head. Uh, they've just gone straight over the top of those two, but they, they they had been submerged, so I don't think they intentionally did it. But there you go. Canoeing, kayaking, call it what you want to, in a seal pond. I don't, don't quite know if I want to be doing that. Anyway, I haven't really found much today. As I said, I found... Loads of scat. There was a seal performing right there. I don't know if you saw that splash. I hope I captured that. Um, I haven't really found much today. Uh, scat, nails, tat. Thank you very much for watching. And as for always, stay safe. And stay free. And do be happy. Yep, do be happy. Bye. Are they antagonizing the seals? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's hope not. Right, so that's it. Uh, I'll refrain from, or I will desist from talking much more scat. That was your addendum. I see another seal far out in the distance. I think these guys are scattering the seals now. Pretty because the seals have more right to this bit of water than what I have. Okay, bye!